Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Rashida. My today's video is going to be on pair plot. Pair plot is very useful and popular and I personally like them because you can get a lot of plots, a lot of information packed in one plot and it's very simple to use. Just one function and you can get the relationship between several variables in one plot. Uh, okay, uh, you will understand what I'm talking about when you are going to see it if you haven't seen it yet. And uh, I uh, I should explain also what you should expect uh, in this video. First, the uh, I will do it using the pandas library that uses the matplotlib library behind the scene, but the function itself is from pandas library, and then. I will show it using the Seaborn library. Uh, the good thing about Seaborn library is it comes with some uh, style. It comes, it, the plot itself looks prettier, just the basic plot. And then I'll move to the pair grid. And the pair grid uh, is also kind of uh, lets you make pair plot, but it gives you lots of flexibility. You can play around with the type of plot and the type of plot you want in the pair plot okay so let's start import pandas as pd and df pd dot read the csv enhance 2015 2016 dot csv so enhance data set if you are new to my channel definitely you may not have this enhanced data set and I have the link in the description box below. Uh, so please feel free to download the data set and follow along. And these um, columns, they may look a little bit obscure, but don't worry about it. I will, uh, I will explain what they mean. I'm not going to use all of them, but whatever I'm going to use, I will let you know what they actually mean. Okay, now, uh, use the matplotlib library. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and then uh, import pandas. Okay, now from pandas.plotting import scalar matrix. Okay, in pandas library, this pair plot is called scalar matrix because the plots are mainly scalar plots. Okay, so let's make our first pair plot or scalar matrix as pandas library calls it. So I'm going to use these five variables because if we use all of the variables, you can if you want, but the plot is going to be not useful at all because the plot is going to be very small. But sometimes people still uh, use a lot of variables. The reason is uh, simply just to get a preliminary idea. If you want to do that, you can do so as well. Here is the basic scalar matrix. You can see that uh, you probably know why it's called scalar matrix because most of them are scalar plot. This is the upper triangle, this is the lower triangle, and this is the diagonal. I used weight, height, BMI. You can see weight, WT, height, HT, then BMI, leg length, and arm length. Okay, this is the five variables I used. And you can see, you can see the scalar plot. Uh, these plots in the upper triangle and these plots in the lower triangle, they're almost the same thing just switching the x and y axis if you notice this one this plot here is like bmx weight and that means in y axis it, this plot has weight and in x axis this plot has arm length okay in y axis it has weight but this is exactly the same two variables but in arm length is in the y axis and weight is in the x-axis so switching the axis just but uh, they're the pretty much similar kind of uh, scatter plot 
Okay. Now you may think that we don't need the scatter plot showing the relationship between same two variables. In that case, you you, you can change uh, in one side, but I will show you at the end uh, because uh, we need to show some more stuff be before I get there. Okay. So this is the pandas library and matplotlib. Now I'm going to use a Seaborn library and do the same thing almost as SNS. You will see it just looks different. Uh, first, I make a separate data frame and call it a D. And then SNS.pairplot. So Seaborn library calls it pair plot and okay first just see how it looks the basic one this is it as you can see uh, the plot itself just the basic one looks a lot different and a lot more stylish than this one right if you want these diagonals or histograms as you can see here as well, these diagonals are histograms. This is the distribution of weight. Look, weight here, this side also weight. And this one is the height. This one is BMI. The same as here. But if you want, you can get the density plot. Diagonal kind equals to KDE. So KDE, you can get the density plot instead of histogram. If you like density plot better. So this is the density plot. Okay, so now uh, I want to show you how you can make it a little uh, extra useful. So I will add one more variable, this gender variable, okay? So I will show the results segregated by gender, okay? So here, KDE, and I will use a hue parameter, hue and gender. Okay. Hmm. Sometimes it can take a little bit of time because you can see so many plots in one plot. And also, look at it uh, here. We have two gender, one and two. It doesn't, if you want, just replace one and two with male and female. But uh, I, I am keeping as it is for this tutorial purpose. And you can see male and female, height, weight, BMI, how they change. Uh, if you want, we can add some more uh, style parameter. Like plot KWS. In the dictionary, uh, alpha, you can use an alpha 0 0.5. Oh, sorry. And it's here, it's a dictionary. Okay. And then I will give an edge color. Uh, edge color K. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, here it is. You, you can see that there is an edge color by the dots and also a little bit of transparency because I use an alpha parameter, okay? And this is, uh, okay. Uh, I think that's all for the Seaborn library pair plot now i will use the pair grid uh, i will show you first how you can use the pair grid and make the same plot and I, later on i'll show you how you can modify it and uh, use the flexibility that comes with pair grid function okay first sns dot pair grid okay the data data is df Okay, then uh, variables. What are the variables are we going to use? 
the same variables we used before. Control C. Okay, the same variables. And I will use the hue parameter as well here. Uh, this is optional. If you don't want a hue parameter, if you don't want to segregate it, you don't need to use this hue parameter, but I am going to do it. Okay. First, you have this empty grid. Now we'll fill up these empty grids. Okay. G dot map. Okay. Diagonal. First, we fill up the diagonals of PLT dot histogram. Okay. And then G dot map uh, of diagonal. Of diagonal, I'll use the PLT dot scatter. As I said, I'm going to show you how to use pretty much the same thing. Yeah, but pair grid comes with a little different color by default. Uh, I'm not going to worry about color here. If you want, you can change the color. But yeah, this is the, pretty much the same thing as here, but I used a uh, histogram here, not a density plot. A histogram is fine. But let's modify the same plot a little more. Okay. Uh, histogram. Okay. Alpha 0 uh, 6. 6 is good. And same here. 0 point, uh, probably 5. I will add a little uh, extra. And then I want to add the legend. Okay, here it is. I think it looks a little more uh, clear. All right, the next one. Ethanis.peer grid. Here I used the pair plot and the hue parameter was gender, a categorical variable. But it doesn't have to be categorical all the time. I can use a continuous variable as the hue parameter. And I will show you now how we can do that. Pair grid and uh, what I will do, I will add one more uh, variable here. I will use the age uh, variable here. Okay, let me just do this. Div the columns, here is the age. Okay, you can see age, age here, okay. age greater than 60. We are only uh, going to care about people who are older than 60. And now I will use the variable of the same, same variables. We will just change the hue parameter. Okay, hue. I will use hue as the systolic blood pressure. This is the systolic blood pressure. So this is the grid. This will give us the empty grid. Okay, now let's fill up the plot. G dot map diagonal. SNS dot hist plot. Okay, and hue is none okay because histogram with the segregation of a continuous variable that's not going to be useful at all okay g dot uh map of tag it's an scatter plot okay and then g dot uh add legend okay it's taking some time look so you can see the color here right the lighter the color blood pressure lower the blood pressure and the higher the or the darker the color uh, higher the blood pressure systolic blood pressure so you can see 
how we can use and we didn't use any hue parameter in the uh, distribution in the diagonals you can see the weight height the diagonal as it is all right now i will show you how we can make how we can see the different plot in upper triangle and lower triangle okay so i will just copy this And hue, I will use the uh, gender again. Gender. And the rest of them are fine. Okay. And now, the, the map lower. Okay. Then plt dot scatter. Oh, sorry. 0 0.6 g dot uh, map uh, diagonal plt dot hist 0 0.7 okay see i put map lower this map lower only uh, filled up this lower triangle and then map diagonal that that means this diagonal one, as you can see, I put histogram. And uh, the now this upper triangle is empty. I'm going to fill up this upper triangle now. Okay, g dot map upper. Okay, uh, I will use the uh, I will use the density plot, KD plot, and shade. True. Hmm. It's taking some time again. Uh, okay, it's coming. You can see this upper plot, upper triangle is filled up with this KD plot with shade. And isn't it cool? Yeah. So one last thing I want to show you is if you want, you can totally avoid this upper triangle and just have this lower triangle and the diagonal. Okay, let's see how we can do that. Okay, DF, uh, okay, diagonal, uh, share one goes to false okay so we are not going to share this because these diagonals all of them share the same y-axis so we are not going to corner goes to true okay let's see you can see that we don't have the upper triangle anymore we just have this one triangle diagonals and the lower triangle Okay, now g dot. Why don't I just copy and paste these two lines? Okay, so here it is. Uh, only the lower triangle and the histograms in the diagonal. No upper triangle. If you think that's useful. Um, and it looks good to you, yeah, it's fine. So that's the pair plot and pair grid that I wanted to show you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think this video was helpful and informative for you, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay with me. Thank you so much again for watching. See you soon.